Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Avorium with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to what I am most likely calling, at least in my head, the cursed episode. The episode that simply did not want to be recorded. After trying to record this video four times, I am now confident everything is going to work out. So I do apologize if there is a bit of a jump between the last video and this one in terms of what I've been doing. It isn't too bad, but I have started building the fighter already, or the cruiser, or whatever we're actually going to call it when we see the finished product. Now, thankfully, in the footage I've ended up simply scrapping, nothing really too bad happened in terms of our progress, but we do have a lot more resources now, most of which I got from a single exotic drop. It simply dropped when the Zotan were fighting some pirates, and I sold it for just over 1.5 million, since it was one of the hyperdrive jump I think, or some other module like that, and that was sadly yesterday. After sorting everything out, here we are in the game, everything's fine, essentially the game was just bugging out quite badly, and the footage went really, really weirdly. That is the joy of playing a game which is still in beta. So, what are we doing today then? Today we are building up the Hand of Zeech. Now, Zeech is my pet which sadly has passed away last month, and this is a bit of a tribute to her. This is going to be one of our more standard vehicles. Originally, I was intending it to be a little bit smaller than it's going to end up being, but since we did get that boost in resources, I thought I may as well make it more of a medium-sized cruiser, but still still one which we can spam build, as it won't be too expensive, around about 2 million credits at absolute most, which honestly isn't all that much. And of course, there's our little redemption just floating there next to us. So let's actually go on board the Hand of Zeech, there we are. And yes indeed, the name Zeech does come from the Dark God Zeech from Warhammer 40k lore. That was how she was named, even though she was dumb as dirt and really, really lovely. The hand of Zeech, everyone. So, right now we have 1.5 million credits left. That's mostly because almost all of this is generator, and generator is incredibly expensive, at least credit wise, but not so bad titanium wise. We have 36,000 neonite and 161,000 titanium. So, what I'm going to do now is quickly go ahead and build the basic shape of the center of the ship. I do have an idea in my head as to what this is going to look like but I also feel like this could end up looking terrible. It's one of those ideas where if it's done well, I think it will look interesting and unique. If it's done badly, which let's face it, is a good chance of happening with me being the builder, well, it's not going to be the prettiest thing in the universe. So I've decided we're going to start from scratch, because honestly, I can't quite remember what I was doing yesterday and the ideas I was going with. Hurrah for having problems and all that. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by building the top this time, and I've got a general idea. Now this idea is to have almost like a shell on the top and the bottom, with all of the different functional components in the middle, and then having some components sticking out the side. Things like the thruster and things like the arms which will have probably a lot of our turning capabilities and our weapons on them. It sounds a little bit weird but it's an idea I do like and it's somewhat because of the redemption. I like how we have this middle section which is sort of sandwiched between two sections of heavy armour with only some functional components sticking through. So kind of like that on its side a fair bit bigger, and hopefully a lot better designed. One of the biggest challenges I'm currently facing is that I don't want this craft to look too complicated, and yet I want it to look quite nice. And the reason for this, as I've discussed in a past few episodes, is that honestly, this is a very, very small craft. The redemption over there costs and is about the size of maybe... 30 times smaller than the Brute at the end of last season, which means we're not going to see them even if they're next to us very easily, and because of this I want them to have very easily defined shapes so that they look nice even at the end game. Since I do want to keep on using the same ships over and over, the Redemptions are going to be our Miners and the Zeech's Hand will be our standard sort of 
go and send them, they're nice and cheap, I'm sure they'll be fine kind of fighters. And even if they die, it's not too much of a big deal. But of course, for a period of time, we are going to be using them. So we don't want them to look too simple or too basic. And as you can tell, I'm already sort of lamenting over how I'm going to do the front half of the shell. So, how am I going to do this? I am one of the most indecisive builders of all time. Okay, I think I'm happy with how the top shell looks. So it's something like this, which means the engine will literally naturally stick out this gap we're leaving here. And then when we add the other section at the bottom, it will then encase it with the engine still sticking out here so that we can shape and mold it so it still looks somewhat decent. This will leave us plenty of space in the core, which will be protected by the engine, by the armor, and by any outer armor I add so that I can add things like the general generators and the shield generator and everything like that and then the weapons can either go simply on the front or on the arms I'm still thinking about adding although I am changing my mind a little bit about that here's the thing it all depends on how much money I really want to spend on this craft I could have one or I could make it more cost efficient more similar to the redemption and instantly have two of them I'm really not sure which path I'm going to take. And so here come the shield generators. So really, I would like a minimum of about 20,000, but anything more than that, I'm very, very happy with. There we are, 30,000, 40,000. That should do for our current difficulty. Once again, still not sure whether I want this to be a bit bigger or fairly cheap. We still need to add a lot of other stuff which can go here before we attach any other side elements and then the thrusters can go here and here and of course by thrusters I mean engines and then any of the gyroscopes, well, we can sort of fit them wherever we have space. Okay, so I've just added the bottom shell, although it's not quite lined up, so I will have to add that again in a little while, but that's no huge problem. I'll, I can simply copy and paste. It's not really a big deal, but I do like how this shell shape is turning out, although I do, of course, need to do more toward the edge to make it look a little bit more unique, a little bit more stylized. The one thing is, though, I don't think the idea of the spikes will really work with this shape. I thought it would, in my head it would, but now look Looking at it, I really disagree with past Lathrex. What I could do is keep this section here removed, add a couple of the corner blocks, and then that will leave this section here quite flat. This flat section could be used for now for the thrusters, and if I ever want to make the hand of Zeech a little bit bigger, it again leaves a nice flat zone where I can simply add more blocks to it. So I think that's what we're going to go with. I do like the current shape, I'm just not happy with where I was going originally, which is honestly normally how I, how I build anyway. Speaking today, not the easiest. The main body is now almost done and the turning is absolutely fine. Although the pitch is a little bit slow, so I will have to add a couple of gyro arrays extra, everything else seems pretty much perfect. So now all I need to do is go ahead and figure out how I'm going to add the sections on the top and the bottom and how I'm going to add the sections to the left and the right. What am I even going to do? Am I still going to go with the arm kind of idea I wanted originally? Am I going to go with a more standard looking ship, even though right now we look like an evil chip? I really don't know. Behold, for I am Space Turtle. A lot more simplistic than I originally intended, but I do really, really like how this looks. The only thing is, with this current shape, it will be very difficult to do engine sections, as in do the engines and have metal completely surrounding them, so that they are, well, kind of giving the illusion of having a shape which isn't just simply four-sided, which would be nice, but yeah, they are just sort of rectangles right now. But even so, I do like this. It's simple, it's nice, and you could imagine having a whole fleet of them supporting a much larger battlecraft. So very close to somewhere which can give me mechanics, but it's taking so long. Of course, right now, all of the stats are currently incorrect because I don't have any crew members. It's literally being flown by just me, which means whilst building this, I'm not being given the correct numbers, which is really messing up pretty much everything. So finally, here we are at the plant farm. 
because of course the plant farm has engineers and mechanics. Honestly, the more I look at the ship, the more I really, really do actually like it. It's so difficult to try and build something with the thought in your head constantly. It needs to look simple. It can't be too over the top. And for a very basically shaped ship, yeah, this works. Although I am still considering, with these back sections, maybe spiking them more and actually bringing them forwards, thus causing them to have a lot more surface area and thus more space for thrusters or engines or weapons or anything else. Well, I've got pretty much everything I could from this area, so now I need to move on to get myself some more mechanics, and then I'm pretty much good to go. I do also need some more inertial dampeners, and the reason why I couldn't add too many of those is because sadly they need iron. You know that resource I haven't mined for quite some time, since it's only iron and avorian you can actually make those out of, and I can see a very expensive item over there. Also, I'm currently flying a ship which isn't finished yet, and my lord, can I feel that. It's so difficult to control this. And look, no inertial dampeners? Slowly sliding to a stop. It will take quite some time. Come on, must get shiny item, please. And we get a pretty decent laser turret, although it is independent targeting, which means its damage is understandably quite low. Still very nice, though. Okay, cool. So, let's get moving. I need to go to somewhere with a equipment dock anyway, so I think I need to head up back to over to here. There we are. No systems are currently complaining. Apparently our pitch and turning are absolutely fine and everything else is all good. We also have a full stock of crew members now, including the engineers, the mechanics, and pretty much everything else, with the exception of the gunners. So now we need to go out, find ourselves an equipment dock, completely equip some weapons, and then I can finish off building the craft. It's still not done yet, as you can probably tell, but we are getting close. It's very simple, but I really do like it. One equipment station has been visited, and we already have a full battery of chain gun turrets, although quite a few of them are pretty darn terrible. I just purchased every chain gun turret I saw so that I can do this. Because that just looks really, really cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab the other chain gun turret from the redemption the burst fire one and then we can look for better ones as we continue our story as we continue getting closer towards the center of the galaxy another thing i will need to do however is upgrade the front pieces of armor over to neonite so that i can start using the neonite weaponry hello there tiny little frigate Even with low-end weaponry, since I've gone so far back into the galaxy, I am pretty much going to destroy everything I see. But since we are on insane difficulty, look at how much health these things actually have. I've got to say, things like the chain guns look significantly better than things like the lasers. Just because you can see the projectiles, it seems so much more real, like you're really doing something to the enemy. Although this one seems to really want to be far too close to us. Which is fine for me, honestly, considering all of my weapons are close quarters weapons, but for him, who's using lasers, no, using plasma, you would think he would want to go further away. But yeah, definitely need better weapons. We're also still one weapon less than our maximum weapon yield. So I think overall, this will be a good craft, which won't be our main craft. It looks simple, it looks decent, and since it has such large plates on the top, once I decide on a final colour scheme, they will very easily be showing our colours, and that's actually quite a big deal, to make the fleet look a little bit more unified, look a little bit more like it's under my banner. You know, I could just fire at your weapons and absolutely obliterate them. There goes one, and there goes the other. That would have been the smart thing to do. Ahem. There goes that one, and can we knock out this one as well? Yes, we can. Oh, no, we can't. Is it gone now? Well, doesn't matter too much. I just got an achievement called Fighter, and I've killed two frigates. So, I'm pretty happy, and I'm becoming bestest friends with the people who already liked me, and even worse off with the people who already hated me. Excellent. 
So, I still haven't seen any railguns yet, and I think that's because I've not seen one yet. Although that does sound really weird, I've not seen one because I've not seen one. Essentially, how this game works is certain weapon types, like the missile and the railgun, won't be unlocked for you to find in stores until you find one naturally, or you find one very far on in a store, and then you could even go back to lower level areas and get really low quality versions of that item. So... I'm going to head on back to the Redemption, I'm going to steal its chain gun, and we're going to make our last changes to this thing, including the paint scheme and smoothing off the sides. I am happy with it, but I feel like some people won't be. It's just, it's so simple that I absolutely love it. I really wish that in this game you could not completely disable Bloom, but instead have a slider for it, because right now with Bloom, it's absolutely blinding, but without it, it's just not as good looking. So I wish there was a slider here so I could lessen the effects, but I guess that's asking a little bit too much for a game that's still in early beta. So, let's jump on over to the Redemption, which apparently has taken damage at some stage. I have no idea when that happens, so repair ship and just repair please. Thank you. Currently I am, there we go, locked onto the right mouse button. That was really, really weird. And let's remove your weaponry, or at least that awesome burst fire version. The rest, you can keep, honestly. And I've already got this ship using one of the pilots, one of the captains, which means right now I can already use the fighter all of the time and use the redemption as a simple mining vessel. It'll go out and it will do its mining job and everything will be good. Jump back into the hand of Zeech, and let's add our lovely weapon. No, not the laser turret. The chain gun turret, you dum dum. There it is. And we can just add that to the middle for now, until we have some proper firing plates. I feel like I'm not going to finish this today, because I've got quite a few ideas, which I'm very unsure of. I feel like I finished the base craft, which, once again, I am actually really happy with, considering this will be a mass-produced vehicle. Not one we're going to spend too much time in as soon as we get to things like Trinium, because as soon as we have a lot of Trinium, that's when we're going to move on and build the next craft, since Trinium is such a good material. So, in terms of our colour scheme then, I guess we should do something similar to the Redemption. So the outer shell, which isn't mirroring then, which is quite weird, should be this dark slight green, and we'll do that for the bottom as well. There we are. At least that part actually mirrored, which is really weird then, considering both of these are just copy and paste of each other. It means it can't be non-symmetrical, because... Actually, yeah, it can't be non-symmetrical, because otherwise I couldn't have built using mirror mode with these things, because they all would have overlapped and then gave me the error. So that's very odd. So next, I think it's this colour. Am I correct with this? Let's quickly find out. Uh, if not, it's very close. I think it is, and that will go on all the outside, like so. And this back section, which desperately needs to be finished, that's all of the gyros and stuff sticking out. And then along here as well, because why not? Let's make it all nice and uniform, shall we? No, a mistake! There we go, it's all beautiful, everyone's happy. Yeah, I am really happy with that, actually. Once again, we're not going for overly detailed, we're not going for the best looking things in the world, we're going for shape, and I am happy with that. But I still think we need to do something with these sides. I don't like how these thrusters are just kind of here, I don't like this little stub on the side, so that needs to come forwards. But we'll do that in the next episode when I've thought a bit more about exactly how I would like this fighter to look. Escort me, Redemption. We need to go out and do some stuff, because right now I'm a little bit bored of being in the same sector over and over. So going down here, we are going to go to a sector where we are in bad reputation standing, which means the enemy won't attack us, but we've got to be on our very best behaviour. Also, I've got to make sure that my Redemption is as close as possible before we go through the gate, otherwise so much insanity can actually happen. I still also need a lot more inertial dampeners. Right now, trying to stop is very slow. My reverse thrust, my braking thrust rather, is at about 30% of my regular thrust. So for every second I go forwards, I need 3 seconds to stop. It's not all that good, so I definitely need to upgrade that. I just need to figure out 
where on the ship I'm going to add that. I could simply extend the bottom section and then add a load of inertial dampeners there, but I like how I look. One problem is the fact I'm using so much heavy armor though. If I was using the regular armor, everything I have would be a lot more responsive. I also apologize if I sound really weird right now, I still have the flu and my god I just listened back to the last few clips and wow do I sound nasally. Okay, that's going to look so much better when I'm firing. There we go, the whole front section is now firing, that is so much nicer, although I may have just accidentally hit the gate itself rather than shooting through it because I'm just that smart. Now all of you should go on to one, and... Yes, that looks so much better. Okay, that's really, really cool. Hello there. Okay, let's go through. Please work. Hurrah! It actually worked! So now we're through the gate, and we can start moving away from this faction as fast as possible. Although currently they don't hate us... I don't really want to stick around in case I do any damage whatsoever, which would most likely cause them to truly, truly hate me. For instance, here. Anything interesting around here? Don't talk to me. Thanks, salesman. Thanks. Okay, you should be ready as well, since I've got no upgrades to my hyperdrive, so we both have the same. And jumping. My hyperdrive is being jammed. Seriously, there's a hyperspy- Oh, great. Now, what should we do? Should we fight this off, or shall we try to run away? Also, is this the same faction as who owns this? Oh, it is as well. Okay, uh, in that case, we need to just try and get away. Come on, move, move, move. Okay, this is bad. This is really bad. I have done all the bad things. I'm going to lose the redemption. Holy crud. Get away from that. Hey, look at me! Oh, stop sliding, you stupid craft. This is re- Actually, I am annoyed by this. Why is a faction, which is only bad relationship, outright attacking me? Which one of you is a hyperspace? That's the headhunter. You're just a frigate, but you're the one attacking him more. Go away. Good, okay, now you're on me. Now to make you go on me as well. Get away from that. Okay, you, attack, please. Thank you. At least the redemption is incredibly cheap, so we can remake it instantly, but even so... Where on earth is the freaking hyperspace blocker? Go and die, you horrible creature. So many numbers flying around. Oh, crud. Come on, come on, come on. Faster, 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 faster. Just die. Thank you. You. Escort me. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, for the love of the Dark Ones, you are the worst enemy faction. I am so legitimately salty right now. You can't beat me. I am significantly overgeared for this area. Except for in weapons and everything else. I should have just gone straight for the hyperspace blocker. I couldn't have outrun them with the redemption. I could of course outrun, outran the hyperspace blocker just using my current ship. But relying on the redemption as well, that's not going to happen. All that crew who just died. Murderers. Murderers. 
Well, at least I've just went ahead and I've grabbed all of the items except for two, which the redemption has dropped. Also, you guys suck. You can just about kill a mining vessel, but you can't kill me at all. You should feel ashamed. My firepower is only 280. Every single one of these enemies has had a higher firepower, but thankfully, very, very low defense, and they're derping up because the AI is the AI. I've killed about half of them now. It's certainly taking its time. But as soon as I have better weaponry, these ships I'm currently using, the Hands of Zeech, are going to brutalize this faction. This is now my least favorite faction, I can't even pronounce their name. The Zhu Epic. Zupic? The Dum Dums. And down you go. One more is dead, but sadly, they do keep on spawning in. This is a battle I simply can't win. It would be a battle I just continue to fight over and over again. Well, on the upside, I did get every single item from the Redemption, but, well, the Redemption has been lost to us. Thankfully, the Redemption is incredibly cheap, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back through the gate, and I will rebuild the Redemption for the next episode so it's all nice and ready for us. So thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this rather erratic video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Avorian is a series you wish to see continued in the future. I'm happy with our progress, but really annoyed by the fact apparently I don't understand the relationships in this game, and I really, really thought that bad wouldn't attack you on sight. As I think I've proven time and time again, but maybe it was just bad luck that the headhunter spawned in. That's the only thing I can think of. Thank you for watching. A little bit salty, and goodbye.